All right, what's up, Pisces gang? It's your girl, Empress777, here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly have. Let's go ahead and cleanse our space, guys, okay? Let's clear our energy. Take a couple deep breaths for me, Pisces gang, gang. Holy angels and spirit guys, give me clear, concise messages for my Pisces family, my Pisces soul family, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, guys, this is general. Can't be for every Pisces in the world, but do stay around, okay? This will be entertaining. I will not disappoint. I don't. I don't. I don't disappoint. Y'all already know. And my cards don't lie, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest, though. So. Um, cross watches, put yourself where you belong in the story. You are welcome. All right, so I could be talking about you or your person. Just swip swap the roles if that's what you need to do. Um, also, guys, we're growing expeditiously i am so so excited for our channel for our family we're really growing um quite quickly and i do appreciate it if you have not subscribed and become a part of our family you do want to do that i upload for pisces quite often all right so go ahead and click that notification bell as well so you can be notified um for when i do upload for your sign and click the like button for those of you who have already taken care of all of that small change go ahead and click that like button so that our channel can circulate and make it to those who need it um let's go ahead and dig right in guys let me just say during your meditation okay I don't know i just got the energy of um <laughs> do i want to say this mm. i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck I, I, I don't give a fuck bitch i don't give a fuck about you or anything to do don't give a fuck about you or anything to do how many of y'all started singing with me raise your hands put it down in the comments like that's the energy that i feel i do very unbothered energy very indifferent energy very um nonchalant kind of doing your own thing focusing on your own shit your own money your own shit that matters okay that's what i heard so it was a very effortless kind of free-flowing type of energy i got two different energies from that though on one end of the spectrum somebody is you know sipping on something smoking on something you know what i'm saying living their best life seeing the potential of greatness that they are going towards and on the other end we have a hater <laughs> I mean, don't we always listen if you don't have haters, then what are you doing with your life? I mean, like, you know, if we ain't got no haters, then where the hell you at? Like, that's what it's really about. OK, that's when you know that you're doing something right. That's when you know you're on the right path. OK, um, is when you have those who, who just so happen to be toxic in their own energy hating on you because they want to be there, too. And as you know, misery loves company. So I do feel like you may have someone coming in. They're on their way in, guys. Be very clear. OK, this is not a surprise. You already know this. You felt it. Your intuitives as well. You feel this person coming back in. They always do. They always do. They wait for things to kind of cool down and then they come back in. OK, now. This is someone that you no longer have like feelings for. Now, the reason I say that is because I was trying to light my Palo Santo right before I started this and it kept going out. I couldn't get the flame to stay for my life. That never happens, by the way, okay? It's very um, kind of effortless, this process that I go through to cleanse our space with the sage and stuff. The sage was giving me issues and the Palo Santo kept blowing out. Like, so the way that I viewed that or felt in your uh, meditative state right as i was cleansing right before this i feel like you know you no longer have a flame that burns for this person guys okay i said all of that to say they're not attractive they don't do it for you anymore you know what i'm saying so even if they do come back in trying to trigger you i mean yeah i mean you're still gonna you're still gonna keep going in the opposite direction you may just for kicks and giggles entertain a conversation with this person but in their mind, like the past, they would, this would lead to reconciliation. That's definitely not. That's definitely not where your mind is with things. You know what I'm saying? And if they try to trigger you, meaning like get a response out of you, just some sort of engagement, try to, you know, get the old you back. OK, I feel like you have really worked on your own energy. OK, you're no longer argumentative or disagreeable. Like if a motherfucker don't agree with me, then that's your own dumb shit to do. You know, that's, that's in your own dumb ass mind. If you don't want to listen to this, these jewels that I'm dropping, this truth that I'm spitting, you know, I can't make 
somebody use their brain. You know, I, I have no control over another person's brain, but I do have control over the people that I allow around me who lack the brain cells. That's what we're not going to do. So this person does have an idea that, you know, this communication that you will get riled up like you used to before. Like there's some, there's still some sort of emotional pull there from their end. They don't know that you have totally disconnected from that shit. You have no emotions for this whatsoever. Okay. I told you what I heard. All right. Sing it with me, y'all. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Uh -uh. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck, right? Like, that's what I heard about you or anything that you do. Like, that's your business, okay? That's your life now. That's no longer my problem. Like, I literally see like this. <laughs> like, you cleared your hands of this shit. Like, you just, yeah, done. Wow. <sighs> and this is the bullshit that we're talking about here, okay? I feel like this is a person who never really, they never really expressed how they truly felt about you. You never really knew, right? Like how deep it was for this person. This is somebody who was trying to play it cool. Like this is somebody who was too cool to show emotions, too cool to say, I love you, too cool to say, you know, I don't want you fucking with nobody else. This is the type of person who will be like, yeah, we can have an open relationship, but you know, when they go home, they're throwing shit or they're spying on you or they want to know all the details. How does she look? Is her ass fatter than mine? You know what I'm saying? Does he look better than me? Can he do it better than me? Like this is this type of person. You know that they're bothered, but they try to, f they try their best to appear as though they're not bothered. Now at this juncture, okay, this indifferent energy of yours, okay, you checking your ass out in the mirror rather than focusing on their tantrum, I mean, they're going to still try to stay cool and calm because you're cool and calm, but you're really cool and calm inside <laughs> and on the outside, right? It's the truth for you. Is it the truth for this person? Can I just get a collective hell no? Like, no, it's not. They're throwing shit on the inside. They can't believe that you're so unbothered that you were able to just get over this. Um, this is somebody who really thought that they had like a hold over you. Um, for some of you, it's like a sexual thing. I don't know. I don't know why I heard that. They feel like they had a hold over you sexually. Like, like their sex was like nobody else's. You know, nobody could do it like me. I got it. I got you. But like, what about everything else? that is supposed to hold up the foundation of a relationship. Somebody please tell me. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna be losing their shit, y'all. They're gonna be losing their shit. All right, you understand? You understand? Now, I read this in two different ways. Some of you will have a conversation with this person, like I said, for kicks and giggles, like just to get like a, <laughs> you know, your daily source of entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> In the past, you may have felt like you had to protect your energy, and so you would not engage with this person, but since you're now so into, you've gotten over this, you've healed, okay? When you're really over some shit, you could care less, you know what I'm saying? About having a conversation, about seeing if you don't get triggered anymore, you know, it's just, it's not gonna happen, okay? The trigger points are no longer there. They no longer have access to those because you no longer have emotions or feelings for them. You're not attracted to, to them anymore. There's no longer a flame burning within you for this person, okay? It's not there. It don't move, right? Like, and, and this is really going to be very bothersome. Now, for others of you, that indifference is going to lead to like a changing of a phone number, like a moving to another city, town, state, galaxy or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like completely falling off the face of the earth. Like one day they heard from you and then the next day they didn't. Okay. They're not going to know what, what hits them for some of you, right? There's no conversation for closure. There's no conversation about what it is that you're about to do because you don't feel like that's necessary. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like I don't care. You know, um, you don't feel like, that's going to lead to anything productive. You think that's going to be counterproductive for your own energy to even have a conversation about clothes. This is the type of person who likes to talk you out of that. Not that you feel like they're going to be able to do that, but it's just like you don't want to waste your brain cells on some shit like that. OK, now. Persistence is inevitable, though, OK? This person is going to be extremely persistent. They're gonna, they, they're gonna want to try any and everything, okay? That's an exclamation mark. These are all caps, all right? They're yelling. They're yelling and they're throwing shit. Now, they might not say this to you directly, okay? This is someone who likes to finesse their words, guys. Is this a wordsmith? Does this person, like, even though they do some dumb ass shit, 
this is the reason why they were able to even get a conversation with you to begin with. You thought they were smart. You know what I'm saying? They they know good vocabulary. They have a they have a good you know vocabulary list. This person is intellectual. You know what I'm saying? They they um are able to really really kind of say some good shit. You know what I'm saying? They read, they are they are articulate as fuck. Okay. Um, they won't say it in this way and with this much much urgency but you'll know because <laughs> you know this person right this is the cool calm this is someone who is too cool to tell you that they actually want you to tell you that they actually want something to progress or expand to make you think that they like you even right I mean it's really disgusting I'm not I'm not gonna lie right but they want that from you this is someone who wants assurance that they have a person wrapped around their fingers, that they have those puppet strings on call, you know what I'm saying? Before they let a person actually know that they kinda like you, even though inside they fucking love you. Do you understand? Wow. Wow. So that I'm cool, it's good, it's whatever, it can go either way, it is what it is, it's your loss, you know, I was the best you ever had, all of that shit is gonna go out the fucking window, do you understand me? It's gonna turn into this real quick, okay, like overnight, like overnight. Um, so I heard two different storylines, remember, for those of you who will speak to this person for kicks and giggles, um, this is, this this is going to happen after that conversation. You may hang up on this person. <laughs> like their irrational behavior is gonna lead you to believe that the conversation should no longer continue. Like goodbye, okay? And you don't get a goodbye once you hear that. Dial tone, it is, it is that, just accept it, right? The other storyline is they never, they just never heard from you again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, they just, they never heard from you again. It's very Piscean energy. Like once you know, you know. Like once you've decided, once you've decided, then it is that, and then it is so, and it is well within your soul. Um, it takes a minute for you to get there, right? Cause you do give people the benefit of the doubt, but I don't feel like that's you anymore, okay? I feel like you have changed as an individual. Your whole shit has changed up. Not only are you more focused on your money and your bag, you are entirely focused on not tolerating people's bullshit. Like you get one time, you don't get a second chance. There are no second chances in this, in this cycle of your life. You're done with second chances. Wow, this is also why they're gonna be like, enough, pick up the fucking phone. Like, I'm done, like you healed enough. You should have been cooled down. This is someone who waits for you to cool down and then they come back around, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing happened, like la 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 la. <sighs> the same though, they come back around the same. Let's be very clear. Now it's like they want, they want the chance to prove that they've changed, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you've done this before. This has been given. This chance has been given numerous amount of times is what I heard. It's not a lie, Pisces. I don't care. I don't care. It's not a lie. Wow. You have given this chance way too many times. And the last thing you can think about doing is giving another one. Like that's the last thing you would do. You feel like you would play yourself doing this shit again. Their most current feelings is the six of wands. Yeah, this person wants victory, guys. They do not feel victorious currently, but this is a very, very confident individual because of what you've given them in the past, Pisces. This is your fault. You make this person believe that this was an all you could eat fucking buffet. You know what I'm saying? To your soul and shit. This person comes back, they deplete you, they leave, they come back, they deplete you, they leave, they come back, they fuck up, they leave. You know what I'm saying? And then they're back. And they are very confident that this is a cycle that will be continuous, that it doesn't change, it don't move. That's what I keep hearing, that this is a cycle that will continue on and on and on. Oh, but they are gonna be in for a rude awakening. They are, they have not experienced this side of you before, this indifferent type of energy, this person who no longer wants to work on things, they haven't experienced this before, guys. It's a very, very new energy, page of wands. This is you wanting to go towards a new spark of passion, right? Seeing the benefits of moving toward a new, a newer cycle, all right? Um, dating is what this is, okay? So this is you seeing the benefits of just counting this L, no matter how much time you have missed out on. Wow, definitely might be dealing with an Aquarius for some of you. If you don't, if this person is not an Aquarius, it's in their natal chart indefinitely, or you have this, the star card. So you definitely are healing yourself from this shit. You have fully healed yourself. You see that wish fulfillment is not within this shit. So there's no need, you know, to have a conversation, to talk about this again, to fix it. No, like, it's okay. 
We can leave this broken. I'll just buy another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way to Williams Sonoma right now. No, no longer needing to hot glue this shit together again. Wow. So what are the subconscious blockages or habits of this person? Subconscious habits affecting this is, I think I saw the three of cups, y'all. I'm not lying. And if I did, you can't make that shit up, right? Where is it? Hold on, y'all. Am I tripping? Okay, maybe I didn't. Three of Cups energy is what I feel though. Oh yeah, there's no effort, guys. They don't put effort. This is the kind of person who just wants to have fun. They just want to play. They just want to kind of, I don't know, have a good time with you and other people too, okay? Um, this is the kind of person who doesn't necessarily feel like they have to work for um, success. They don't believe in work. Does that make sense? They might not even have a job. Is this person unemployed? Who the fuck is this, okay? Could be dealing with a earth sign here as well we have, right? Or a fire sign. So Aries, uh, Leo, Sag, and we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person feels like they are, in, they okay, they don't feel like, they are entitled, but they feel like things should just be given to them. That like they should, just because they're breathing that they deserve you and the world and a million dollars and to win the lottery and you know what I'm saying? Uh, a, a mansion and a nice car, you know what I'm saying? A Ferrari out this bitch, like a G-Wagon. Like they just feel like this is the shit that they should be given because they exist. Not because they've done the hard work. They don't believe in work, guys. Let's be very, very clear. And they never really have. This could be somebody who's had either a lot of jobs, right? They never really had longevity at one position in particular. Or, or the job that they do possess is very minimal work that they have to do. It, it, it requires like zero mental capacity to do their job, right? They don't strive or want to go for... Um, raises promotions no this is the kind of person who will stay like at an entry-level position for 40 years and retire from that entry-level position that's this kind of person but they want the lifestyle of someone who is an entrepreneur right of a person who has cultivated and built a business from the ground up that's that's the kind of lifestyle that they want without any work they don't want to work very, very lazy individual, guys. They are lazy as fuck. In all senses of the word, okay? So if they're lazy in their career path, which is what came out mostly just now, they're certainly lazy when it comes to relationships. Wow, you can't make this up. Look, guys, didn't I say I saw the three of cups? This is, look, you can't make it. This is somebody who's, they just want to party, you know? Party, 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 let's all get wasted, you know? And waste their life is what they do. That's what they do, guys. They've been wasting time for a very, very long time. They have. But here's where they fucked up. They thought they was going to be able to waste your time simultaneously while wasting their time. You caught on to that shit real fast. It's very unattractive to you that they don't want anything more out of life than what they already have. Okay. And the lack of effort that they put towards their own goals is the same lack of effort that they put towards this relationship. So they view everything in life that way. They don't want to put any effort towards things at all. They just kind of want to show up and reap benefits. And that is not realistic. Now, is it? Is this person living in a reality TV show? I mean, we're in reality, you and I. This is a reality TV show star is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They are unrealistic, delusional to believe that they would be victorious in life and in everything in general without having to do anything, without having to put forth any work, any effort, any, you know, they're not giving the universe anything to work with is what, they're, is what I'm hearing, guys. Wow. And they feel the same way about you. They feel like they can get you too, okay? Royalty, bitch, you're royalty, you're royalty. And here you have somebody who scrounges in the garbage for their dinner, you know what I'm saying? Peasantry who feels like they should have a seat at your table for no reason at all. I mean, it is delusional, guys. It's quite delusional. Now, Pisces, you're gonna wanna beat me up after I say this, but do not, please do not, because it's not a fucking lie. You saw these red flags and you still gave them a seat at this table. Why? Why? 
you still gave them a seat at your table until you saw them like sucking their fingers, you know what I'm saying? Eating with their hands, you know, smacking, chewing with their mouth open, inviting their homies over for leftovers, you know, taking mad plates of leftovers home and shit. You was like, hold up, hold up. You don't belong here at this table. You know what I'm saying? You are way, you are way below the standard of someone who should be partaking from this table. Wow. But now that they've had access, guys, of course there's an addiction. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Now you want to throw them back to the curb with the birds. And they're like, no, but you let me eat at the table with royalty in your palace. Like you can't, but you cannot. You know, they loved it. It was celebratory for them in their mind that they'd gotten someone like you, but then, oh boy. But then they couldn't bring themselves to keep that, right? It's only but for so long you can continue on with the fraudulent behavior. I don't feel like this person put on a mask when you met them. It just took you a minute to kind of realize that there was nothing more coming, right? There was no more effort. There was no more, there was no more to them. Like there wasn't another <laughs> aspect that they was holding back until they got to know you better. Or, you know, this is not the type of person who waits before they um, actually put into something fully because they're mature and, you know, they just want to make sure that it is something that's long lasting. No, no, there is no more. Do you understand? It's empty. Wow. The only set of emotions here, guys, is three of cups. This is a partier. That's what I heard, guys. Party, party, party. Let's all get wasted. And this is someone who likes to deal with multiple people. But you were like the bread and butter. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else was appetizers. You were like the entree. You were like their meal ticket. And they were just playing around. I was just fucking them girls. I was just fucking them boys. I was going to get right back type of energy. They were never planning on getting rid of you. They didn't want to keep other options, but they were never planning on losing like the meal ticket, like the, the lottery ticket, you know what I'm saying? Like the jewel, the, the, the rare jewel that they feel like they stumbled upon with you. Wow. Enough, pick up the damn phone. They feel entitled to a conversation, to some closure. They're like, I can fix this, but they can't. They can't fix this, guys. Just be very clear about that, okay? It's free will, you can do what you want, but I have to be very, they cannot fix this shit, okay? They don't have the mental capacity, the wherewithal, or the tools in order to fix this, okay? So it will be a never ending circle. The two of you will go in circles continuously, all right? It will be a cycle that continues. Wow. So how do they plan for things to truly go? Oh, well, did this come out in your last read? So what happens is, guys, when people know that they don't deserve you or when people know that um, it's very likely that you will find out that they have nothing to offer, that they're not on your level, that they, they belong with the people serving the table rather than the people sitting at the table, okay? Before you get to that juncture, they wanna get you stuck, okay? With whatever way that is, sex, looks, money. I don't get that this person has a lot of money. I'm just gonna say that. Correct me if I'm wrong. It could be one of the things. There's something about this person that they feel like they have that traps people, that gets people trapped on them, you know, stuck on them emotionally, like an emotional attachment. All right. And it is the emotional capacity that blinds people. You see how this person is blindfolded. It blinds them to what it really is, to what they are really facing or really dealing with, which keeps people stuck in shit that they never should have been in to begin with or stuck in shit that they know is wrong for them. Does that make sense? Have you ever had those connections or the, you, we all have, what am I asking for? We all have had those relationships that you keep trying over and over. You keep gluing that shit back together over and over. You keep going cycles and more and more and more. And you know, the shit is going to end up the same way, but there is that little bit of hope, right? It's like a little tinge of hope. Like maybe this time will be different. Maybe you really have changed this time and it never just was, it never was the case. Okay. They're back again though, with the same, same sentence. Same promises, okay? Same false hopes and promises, okay? Hoping to kind of get you stuck there again with believing that these changes will be made, guys, but it's not, okay? Let's just be very clear, it is not, all right? So let's see what lesson is 
coming from the universe currently for this person? What lesson is on its way to this person's life? Let's see. We're going to take this from the Energy Oracle deck. I've liked this deck in this position for the last couple of reads. So let's see what they have to say. What is their lesson coming in? The garden and the gate. This person it always is indecisive. This person has like an oasis right beyond them, okay? Um, like just feels of freedom, financial freedom, love, all of that, right? Just a the ability to go free and set forth in their life to do whatever it is that they want, but they decide to stay behind this gate and continuously keep those old habits. Um, even if they try to change, they always revert back to old habits. They, they just can't help it. Wow. So let me go ahead and read directly from this book. And then we're going over to the extended. Okay. Your new love message will be in the extended, which I have a good feeling that most of you will be coming over there because that's what we're looking for. This person doesn't have the ability to put in the work that you would need guys. Let's just be very clear. It's free will though. Okay. All right. So. It says the garden and the gate and it reads, this card shows a peaceful woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. Gender doesn't matter. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked. While the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck, this card, appear, this card appears to show that there is wealth for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money on, or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time, but, okay, there is a but. I know y'all like, what the fuck, oh, is this a lesson? But, yeah, exactly, beware. The choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be mo motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. And that is exactly what I just stated, guys, okay? So we're gonna be very, we're gonna be more clear and reference or to put this into the perspective of this reading in particular, this is someone who has been doing these things the way that they have been doing them for their entire life. They know no other way, guys. This is their way of survival. This is the way that they handle relationships and people, and it's always failed, but they still don't feel the need to go outside, right? Their own habits, outside their own perspective, outside of their own ways. This is somebody who can't get out of their own way, okay? And right beyond that is success, is abundance, is wealth, right? Within a relationship capacity, but they don't have like the it's the habits that keep them stuck there guys okay and also the fear of the unknown this is a person who is insecure they have become secure in their habits and they are a creature of habit actually all right so they become secure in doing things the exact same way every single time even if the shit has not worked they would rather do things their way than learn a new way and have success. It makes absolutely no fucking sense, I know, but that is exactly what is happening here, guys, okay? All right, look, we're going over to the extended. We're gonna look and see what karma is this person currently facing. I'm nosy, so I wanna know. We will also take that from the Energy Oracle deck because I like this deck in the position of these two um, questions that we just asked, okay? And then we will also see what their intentions are moving forward, their next steps, and the best possible outcome. For those of you who will see it to have another cycle with this person, and those of you who will leave, we'll look at the outcome for that as well. Um, also, new love, as we stated. Your new love message is going to be in the extended. We are gonna dive deep into the people or person coming into your new love energy, okay? What or whom is coming in? How will you know if this shit is worth your time? Because that's the last thing I want you to do is waste any more of it, all right? I also wanna see how will you know if this is your person, okay? Also, why are they single though, okay? All right, I'm looking out for the cookout. I'm gonna be spying on these motherfuckers. Why are they single if they are single, okay? That matters. Also, what is the potential of this going to union and going all the way? How soon can this happen for you, all right? Um, we're also going to look into your spirit messages. So what blockages may be prolonging union with your divine counterpart? What can you look out for or fix that can kind of propel and speed up the pace? What, what's, what the fuck is taking so long? Um, we're also going to see about the good shit happening in your life coming near. All right. We're going to see what spirit has, what rewards, what good shit, what beauty for your ashes is coming in the near future and your finances, of course. So what do you have to look forward to in your next cycle financially? Any blockages that you need to be looking out for that can create 
create stagnancy in your bag or your finances and advice for focus for you to reach millionaire status financial freedom like yesterday all right so click that like button first though guys okay yeah i'll do that click that subscribe button and i'm gonna see you over there in the extended come cut up with your girl a little bit it's gonna be linked down below in the description box